Shishiba versus Gaku. What happens when two top assassins of Sakamoto days go toe-to-toe -to -toe in a fight? Today, I'm going to be answering just that, taking a look at Shishiba and Gaku's speed, AP, durability, hacks, and intelligence to find out who would win in a fight. For starters, let's take a look at Shishiba's speed. There aren't a whole lot of calculations for Shishiba's speed, but the main thing I want to get out of the way real quick is Sakamoto's bullet blocking feat. If you've seen my Nagumo vs Toji video, you know what I'm talking about. Fat Sakamoto, prior to training and receiving Granny Mia's treatment, blocks a bullet point blank, which is calc to be a Mach 18 feet. This same Sakamoto is stated to be around 30% of his prime self, meaning a prime Sakamoto should be able to react and move around Mach 60. Shishiba doesn't have any particularly direct scaling to Prime Sakamoto, so this would act as a highball, but considering his position in the order and his relativity to Nagumo, Shishiba being around Mach 60 isn't completely unreasonable. You can also argue that he's around light speed, since Sakamoto and Kanaguri were bouncing and maneuvering around lasers during their fight, but just as a quick spoiler, Gaku also follows the same line of logic, not just with speed, but for strength and durability as well, so we're going to have to take a look at some more ambiguous statements and feats to get a better sense of where both fighters stand. Right after his fight with Yotsumura, Shishiba was completely okay with fighting Nagumo, implying that he at least thinks he can keep up with and even beat a full health Nagumo. This is significant since Uzuki states that Nagumo is top 2 in the order, with number 1 obviously being Takamura, meaning that even if Nagumo is the stronger fighter overall, Shishiba doesn't see the gap in strength to be that wide. Of course, since Shishiba beat Yotsumura, he upskills from any speed feats that he has, which includes the likes of briefly scrapping with both Nagumo and Shishiba at the same time while on the highway. It's also arguable that Shishiba was holding back until the end during his fight with Yotsumura, so his speed could scale even higher. In general though, we don't have very many concrete calcs. What we do have is an indication that Shishiba is very much able to keep up with the top tiers of the verse in terms of speed, which will be enough. Strength is a similar story. We know Shishiba isn't as strong as Hio since the latter was able to literally punch through Kumonomi's metal while Shishiba isn't, but Shishiba's strength isn't too far behind. Once his fight with Kumonomi was confined to a 1v1, we see that Kumonomi took significant damage and nearly lost all of her prosthetic arm. Additionally, once Kumonomi's magnet failed, we once again see that Shishiba is able to deal significant damage to her. Shishiba has also demonstrated the ability to hurt Haruma with a swing of his hammer, who Shishiba himself says has strength that's similar to Hio. Since Haruma doesn't have any weird strength amps to give him that power, it follows that his durability is also Hio level, meaning that Shishiba possesses enough power to harm someone as tough as Hio. Shishiba's durability is honestly fairly impressive. We've only seen Shishiba take significant damage two times, once when Yotsumura cut off two of his fingers, and a second time when he took a hit from Carolina Reaper's Gas Saber. And in the case of the Gas Saber, since the weapon is a heat-based one that melts through its targets, I wouldn't count it as a knock on Shishiba's durability since the weapon doesn't actually test his conventional durability, but his heat resistance. We see Shishiba literally get hit full force by Kumonomi's crane and come out practically uninjured, along with the fact that he was 1v2ing Kumonomi and Haruma for an unspecified amount of time and taking attacks from the both of them since his introduction to this fight is him being blasted through a wall. While we don't know the nature of the attacks Shishiba took or how many of them hit, we can at least say that his durability is high enough to withstand attacks from a fighter who has Hio level strength and a fighter who has actually gone up against Hio and dealt damage to him. For hacks, Shishiba pretty much has none. He literally states that he likes simplicity, so outside of an exploding hammer trick that he pulled on Kumonomi, he has nothing here. Intelligence-wise, Shishiba is fairly smart. He was able to read Yotsumura's attack with the reflection in his hammer, along with a few more minor showings like creating sparks with his hammer to be able to see in the channel of rebirth, and being able to instantly recognize when he has an opening on Kumonomi and Carolina Reaper, and subsequently taking advantage of that opening. Overall, Shishiba does not have very many layers when it comes to his strength, which makes sense for his character. He likes simplicity, so there aren't any fancy hacks or tricks, he's just a guy who's pretty strong and fast, which makes him a perfect match for Gaku. Gaku, as I said earlier, upscales from Sakamoto's Mach 18 bullet feat. Additionally, during his fight with Nagumo, Gaku says that his and Nagumo's speeds are pretty much equal, however, this is right before Nagumo starts trying harder. 
Gaku isn't being straight up blitzed until he gets distracted by the die though, so we can still say that Gaku's speed is pretty much on par with Nagumo who has been stated to be the order's second strongest. Because he can consistently react to Nagumo's attacks, the possible light speed scaling for Nagumo applies to Gaku as well. There's a few smaller showings too, like Gaku being fast enough to sort of keep up with Takamura during their fight in the museum. Gaku is obviously still getting cooked, but the fact that he was able to catch Takamura's sword in his mouth instead of getting his head cut in half is pretty impressive, along with the fact that he was able to kick Takamura away after getting his arm stabbed. Overall though, just like Shishiba, the most we need to know with Gaku is that he is fast enough to keep up with the top tiers of the verse. Strength is a major part of Gaku's skill set, so there's quite a few showings of it. In terms of just raw striking power, we've seen that Gaku's one-inch punch was enough to just straight up take off Samijima's head, along with the fact that him kicking his arm back at Takamura had enough force to crack his katana. Gaku also says that he's just straight up stronger than Nagumo, albeit it likely isn't by a lot since Nagumo isn't being completely overpowered during their fight. Nagumo also says that his dexterity and way of attacking remind him of Sakamoto back in the day, which, while not a direct indication of strength and is extremely ambiguous, could mean that Gaku possesses a similar level of strength to a prime Sakamoto. Durability-wise, Gaku is pretty tough. The characters that Gaku takes significant damage from are all powerhouses. Of course, he gets torn up by Takamura, but against Nagumo, even being hit with a plain wing didn't completely stop him. Kumanomi kicking a volleyball at him was enough to make him bleed, and we know that Kumanomi's physicals aren't enough to straight up damage Hio since Hio literally tanks a punch from her with zero damage, giving us a clear indication that Gaku is less durable than Hio by a decent margin. Outside of that though, Gaku's durability isn't demonstrated so much as his endurance, which I will be talking about in the hacks and intelligence section. What I'm considering as Gaku's hacks is really more a result of his gamer mindset. We see in his fight against Nagumo that when Gaku is being heavily pressed and has pressure stacked against him, he gets quite a bit stronger and faster. Right as Gaku announces that he's on the killing speed run, he runs up on Nagumo and just punches him into a car, and then proceeds to hop into the car and dodge all of Nagumo's stabs. Additionally, Gaku demonstrates some crazy endurance both times he fights Takamura. Despite having his arm cut off, Gaku is entirely unfazed and kicks it back at Takamura, and in the museum, Gaku wakes up after receiving some treatment from Kashima and immediately looks for Takamura. He still gets bodied, but he's the first character to damage Takamura and has a mindset that allows him to get way stronger by taking such risks. Intelligence-wise, Gaku isn't really anything special. He's smart enough to realize how to use Kaiji's special hearing against him during the JCC exam, and he's also got enough fight IQ to ignore the fact that he's limited by the space he's in during the same exam, but Gaku never demonstrates any amazing feats of intelligence, just a solid understanding of the fundamentals of fighting. With Gaku and Shishiba having been scaled, it's time to see how they would do in a fight. Right off the bat, I think I'll be giving Gaku the edge in speed. His relativity to Nagumo is more concrete than anything Shishiba has shown, and his general fighting prowess is enough to make him the first person to damage Takamura, even if it took him out of the fight in the process. However, even though I think Gaku is faster, it isn't by much. Shishiba should still be able to keep up with him, just with a little added difficulty. On top of being a little faster, I think Gaku is a little stronger as well. Shishiba never shows any crazy destructive feats, while Gaku has his showings against Nagumo to vouch for his strength. Again, though, just like with speed, I don't think Gaku is significantly stronger than Shishiba. The difference isn't big enough for Gaku to be casually tossing around Shishiba, but it's there nonetheless. Where Shishiba begins to beat Gaku though is in durability. Despite Gaku being stronger, he was still damaged from catching the volleyball that Kumanomi kicked at him. This same Kumanomi was unable to even remotely harm Hio with a full strength punch, and was also unable to deal significant damage to Shishiba after hitting him with a crane. With this in mind, I think it's clear that Shishiba takes the edge over Gaku in terms of durability by a decent amount. I also think that Shishiba is the smarter fighter on account of Gaku pretty much never showing anything particularly impressive for fight IQ. His suicide attack on Takamura was sort of intelligent, and he seems to learn from his fights pretty rapidly, but that won't come into play here since this will be a one-off fight. Shishiba, on the other hand, has actually shown decent fight IQ with his reflective and explosive hammers respectively, along with his ability to seize openings when presented with them. So with just these four factors in mind, this fight is looking extremely close. 
Gaku might be slightly faster and stronger, but Shishiba would be able to take the punishment and is also the smarter fighter. The two fighters' endurances are hard to compare as well. Shishiba went 1v2 against Kumanomi and Haruma, coming out with visible damage, but still more than able to fight. And Gaku is literally an endurance champion, never backing down from a fight no matter how lethal an injury is. Ultimately, I think a key factor in this fight is unironically going to be Gaku's mindset. Even if Shishiba with his higher fight IQ is able to set up a situation where he lands a lethal hit on Gaku, I think Gaku's whole killing speedrun mentality would probably give him enough of an amp that he legitimately starts pressing and possibly beating Shishiba. Shishiba on the other hand never shows any love of fighting and literally expresses the opposite instead claiming that he just sees killing as busy work. Because of this, I think that more often than not, this fight either ends with Gaku winning and living to breathe another day, or winning and dying to his injuries afterwards, essentially making it a tie. This isn't to say that Shishiba gets washed, but that Gaku's mindset gives him the edge in a fight to the death because he's so willing to push himself over the edge to beat his opponent, with a level of dedication to killing that we just never see with Shishiba. But if I had to give numbers to it, it'd be extremely close. Out of 100 fights, I think Gaku would probably win like 56 to 57 of them, with Shishiba winning the other 43 to 44, give or take a few on both fighters since it could legitimately be a tie. But of course, these are just my ramblings, so feel free to tell me why Shishiba bodies in the comments.